Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome. My name is Aiden. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really mean it. Uh, today I have a Sephora sale haul, but I also wanted to throw in what I got when Ulta did their 20% off coupon for Platinum and Diamond because I feel like that contributed to my purchases at Sephora and then also what I picked up at Macy's because some of the stuff that I got at Macy's was things that I might have gotten at Sephora but I know that they're harder to find at Sephora so I just and I got some really nice gifts with purchase at Macy's too so you're gonna it's kind of a three-in-one I'll start with Sephora and then if you want to like duck out after that because you don't care about Ulta or Macy's you can or you can stick around and see all the cool stuff. I at least I think it's cool, and I got some great perfumes. So if you're a perfume person, make sure you stick around for Macy's. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and um, let me know what you picked up during the sale, or if you shopped Ulta when they gave that 20% off, or at Macy's. Let me know what you've been picking up lately, or what's on your wish list. What do you still want to get? I'm gonna start with Kohl's in or Sephora and Kohl's because we just got those this past year. We didn't get them last year when they opened the first round. And this had been the first time I'd gone into a, one of our Kohl's when they had a Sephora because I they weren't there when I left in June for to visit my parents or May. I don't even remember when. And I haven't been to a Kohl's in months and months because there's just been so much going on and just life. Anyway, they were so, so nice in there. And she was like, oh, you know, everything's 10% off right now. And I was like, oh, well, I'm rouge. And she's like, oh, well, that's even better. And I was like, oh, yeah. And I was confused because I was like, it's the first day of the sale. Why do they have 10% off? Anyway, this Kohl's employee that worked in Sephora had an additional 10% off. And I wish they had had more things that I wanted at Kohl's because, man, I could have gone crazy. And that extra 10% off helped out so, so much because, yeah it really did help out and yeah it shows um I don't want to give away my information or anything okay so I don't know if you can see but it shows like 20% off and 10% off or 30% off and 10% off I was very impressed with that so the thing the first thing I picked up that was the 20 and 10% off is this sheet mask from Sephora I love their sheet masks they're nice and this was a chocolate one and I was like mm. I want to try a chocolate sheet mask. So I did pick that one up. That was a complete and utter impulse buy. That ended up being $3.78. Oh, those have gone up. They're $6 now. This next set was $17.28. And it is the Glow Recipe Smooth Skin Dreams. I love the strawberry serum that they did. And so I was like, oh, you know, I think I'll pick up. This is just a half size of it. But it's still, it looks more watery than the one I had before. That looks almost like straight water. Can you see? Wow. I remember it be having a thicker consistency before. Did they reformulate this or did I get a bad one? I don't know. Ooh. And then you also got a mini blur drops in there. This was normally $24. So, you know, not a bad deal in the end. And then the other thing I got, this ended up being $35.28, I want to say. Yeah, thirty-five twenty-eight, and it is the pharmacy trio of cleansing bombs. I have been getting these the past couple of years, and I loved last year's with the peach and the blueberry, uh, and the pear. I think was the other one, and now I see that they have some of those in full sizes, and I was tempted to like just stock up, but I know these will also go bad, so I didn't want to do that. So I have three of them here. We have the warm vanilla chai. Let's see if we can get a scent. Those are in there tight. So warm vanilla chai. Oh, they didn't give us a little scooper this time. Or I might have thrown it in the box down on the floor already. It smells nice. It's not my favorite. I, I like the more citrusy or fruity scents, I think. Then we have wild raspberry tea. Hmm, this one has like a slight purple. It's a very light scent. It doesn't smell too much like tea as I was thinking it would and then we have chamomile rose latte well it's they're very light this the raspberry and the rose smell much lighter than i'm used to with pharmacy 
I also went into one of my stores hoping to smell some of the fragrances. I had several on my wish list. I wanted to get the Seven Ambitions, uh, Seven Virtues Cherry one. I had Kaali Yum Pistachio on my list. And then I had uh, Fig Fure by, or Fig Figure, whatever, Father Figure, there we go, uh, by Fleur on my list and just the spray you know, the travel spray, and then also Alice Brooklyn. And then I had a perfume set on my list too. And I was like, I, I, I cannot spend $500. My cart was ridiculous. Anyway, I went in, I decided that the cherry one from Seven Virtues was overly similar to the cherries that I already had. And I didn't really enjoy it that much. So I took that off my, out of my cart and they didn't have father figure. So I'm hoping that someday I'll get to smell that because I don't want to blind buy that one. And, but while I was in there, that's something that I kept putting into my loves list and then it kept converting it just to a single was the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips. And I, I wanted this set. There are two in here. What are they? I can't remember what scent, what shades, what scents they are. It's the best selling duo. It doesn't actually tell me on the outside. So we're going to pull them out. We have Rose and Hibiscus. And they're both very nice. I love the Mar the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips. I've gone through several of these over the years, several of the minis too. And yeah, so I picked up the set of them. They were 24. It was the last one on the shelf, first day of the sale. And she was like, oh yeah, things have already been selling out. And I was like, every time I put this in my loves list, it converts it to a single. And she's like, yeah, that's been really popular. And I said, yeah, I picked up the last one on the shelf. And she's like, yep. So I'm really glad that I got that set because they're definitely lip balms that I will use. Everything else I ordered online because uh, I wanted to use Afterpay and the last time I tried to use Afterpay, there was something went wrong and it's the same thing that happened to me in the cosmetic company store earlier this summer. Like there's something wrong with the registers at the business and um, it's not connecting to Afterpay so then it, then you're like just in a pickle because you have way more than you can afford there. So I just did it online because I've never had any issues with Afterpay there. But I did have an issue with Sephora one time, which threw my budget off quite crazy. And then like the summer and I found out that was an issue with their like Wi-Fi and their machines and changing things over. So I didn't want to mess with that. That's why I just ordered on line. They sent me um, a couple samples. I think they changed the samples that I had picked out. I have a Root Purifier Scalp Biome Shampoo from Nutrafol. I kind of feel like this might have been the one that I got, but I did um, I did not pick out Chance Otendre by Chanel, but they sent me two because they were stuck together and I was like, oh, you upgraded me big time. So thanks so far for that. First thing up, this is going to seem similar similar pharmacy. This is the great, uh, this is their cleansing balm. I wanted the strawberry shortcake version because strawberry shortcake was such a love of mine as a child. And also it's strawberry shortcake. Like it's going to smell great. And I'm actually not getting like any scent from it at all right now. It was limited edition. They came out earlier this year and I wanted to make sure I got it to try at least. So that's the first thing I picked up. The second thing I picked up is from Fenty Skin. I was really curious about these uh, scrubs. This is the Cherry Duo and you have a face scrub and a body scrub in here. So the body scrub is pretty small. It is the Triple Action AHA body scrub. Uh, I'll send myself going through that way too fast. And then you have this nice big cherry scrub for your face. I always can use more face scrubs because I just don't have a backlog of them or anything. Mm, the cherry scent is very, very faint. I, I hope it smells a little bit more on the face, but I was, I wanted to try a couple things from Fenty and these were things that felt practical and not outrageously expensive. Like I'm not paying 50, $60 for a body butter, no matter how good it is. That is just like, I cannot justify that to myself whatsoever because I go through body butters quickly and yeah 
Last thing of uh, skincare before we get to um, the perfumes. I picked up this Ola Henriksen set. This is the Radiance Retreat. Uh, I wanted this, 90% of this was, I wanted the t It's so cute. And it actually looks like a house. It has relief here. Oh, you got a little guy waving at you here. And then inside you have like, here they are up in their hot tub. They got all types of stuff going on. And then over here, when you pull out the products, it's in the back too. So if you have the Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer, which I'm excited to try. I do like Ola Hendrickson for the most part. This is the one thing I don't like, but my mom said she wanted it. This is the Banana Bright Plus Eye Cream. When I tried this stuff before, it stung my eyes like crazy right around here. And I don't know what that was, so. And then this is the smallest thing, but I could have used a giant of this. This is the Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. Uh, I will definitely use that. Vitamin C serum, I don't have like a backlog of it or anything. That Oh, it's even on the back. They have like, that's so cute. Uh, and then inside you have all of the little people and they even have it on the sides. They did an awesome job with this tin. Even like the roof. Wow. Okay. I know that's probably super silly to people, but I think it's awesome. Uh, I'm not going to keep the packaging though. My hoarder self is like, you can keep it. And I'm like, no, I need, I need to not. So I did end up getting my perfume sampler because there's one scent in here that I know that I want. And it was like $35 cheaper if I get this set and then you get that instead. Uh, you get the little set, everything and 20% off. So we have in here, oh, smart they have it so that you can't tamper with it and pull out the sheet which I could see people doing so we have the little sheet that explains all of the fragrances and then in here there's well I'll bring and pull up there we go pulled that out too so first up we have Prada Paradox this is just the original I do own Prada Paradox already then we have by the flyer place by replica Maison Margiela not a big fan of that it's a little too smoky this is the one I want. Want This is Black Opium Le Parfum. I have all of the other Black Opiums, so this was definitely on my list. And I think it's 110 now for the one ounce, and you get to redeem for a full size of this one. Yes. So 85 down from 110. That's where, where I'm going. We have Valentino Donna Born Roba. I do own that one. We have Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb, just the original. I own that one. Tom Ford Ombre Leather, Ombre Leather, definitely not a fragrance for me, so that's a no. This one I like, but I don't like, I think this is the Redemption is a one ounce, and I think they look really awkward and weird in the one ounce, so I want at least a 1.6 ounce. This is Gucci Flora, this is the Gorgeous Jasmine. I have a travel spray in this, it's it's nice. Um, we have Daisy Ever So Fresh by Marc Jacobs. I wouldn't mind this, but again, the Redemption size is not the size that I was really wanting we have vanilla woods by the seven virtues i do own that one got it from another one of these sets we have nest golden nectar again got it from one of these sets before burberry her blush no elixir day perfume oh yeah i have this one i love this scent this is one of my favorites this is one that i would really recommend as well i like prada paradox too um then we have good girl by carolina herrera kind of a classic we have uh Bright Crystal Absolute by Versace, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. That one I, I will take and use that. Um, and then we have Juliet Has a Gun Lust for Sun, which I don't think I like, but I will try that one again. And then you have this lovely bag here. Oh, I have one that fell out. We also have Missing Person by Floor. And I feel like that one might be a little cheaper than this set. So we have our florals, Burberry, Hair Elixir. I love that. I would recommend that one. Nest, uh, Golden Nectar. I think that one's a nice scent, not like outstanding wow, but I, I still like it. I also like Carolina Herrera, Good Girl. I just used the body cream and I was like, I need to break out of that perfume again. It smells so good. Uh, Prada Paradox. I, I've been really enjoying that this past year. Donatella, uh, Valentino, Donna, Born Roma. I think that one's a nice one. Uh, Gucci, Flora, Gorgeous. Jasmine, I like that one. Mark J C ever Mark 
Jacob's Ever So Fresh Daisy. Not my favorite, but you know, it's not terrible. I really do like Versace uh, Bright Crystal Absolute. That was one of the first perfumes I bought really early on and I still love it. Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. It's kind of a classic, but I think you can get a better deal than this. Juliet Has a Gun, Lust for Sun. Not really my profile. I remember spraying it and I was like not a fan. I think it's a Lang Lang. And then you have what they consider warm and spicies. We have Ombre Leather. No. Uh, by the Fireplace. Not for me. Missing Person. That one's okay. Um, that's a 1.7 ounce. I, I, I should look into that one. Victor and Rolf Flower, flower Bomb. Uh, I do like that one. I have it. It's not my... There's other Flower Bombs flankers that I like better. Seven Virtues. I think that's really good if you want like a really rich vanilla with some woods in it. And then Black Opium Lay Perfume. So yeah, that's it for the Sephora. No, it's not. Last thing that I picked up is from Ellis Brooklyn. I picked up Apple Love because I just, I really was curious about this, but I didn't want to invest in a full size. And so I picked up just the travel spray. I sprayed this last night. It smells very much like apple. It's a little bit more sophisticated, um, less sugary, sweet, toothachey uh, than uh, Kay Alley's apple, uh, juicy apple. Eden Juicy Apple, there we go. Uh, kind of, I would say, country apple inspired from Bath and Body Works, but definitely a perfume and a little bit more elevated than that. I, I'm, I think this is a great fall scent, so I will be using it a lot this month that we're in. I'm gonna go to Macy's before I go to Ulta, just because I'm very excited about the Macy's things that I picked up. So Macy's was doing their friends and family sale. They had 15% off of all of their beauty and then they had some free gifts going on as well. I put in two orders because the one thing showed up later and I was like, mm, I've been waiting for this to come somewhere with a discount. And yeah, so first up, I wanna, I wanna show you lips, uh, makeup lip stuff, which is actually what I've been wearing this whole video and the two videos that I filmed before this. Anyway, this is the YSL set. This is the Rouge Volupt Shine, and you have two of the lip balms in here. You have uh, number 150, Nude Lingerie, and number 44, Nude Lavalier. I love the packaging on this, that marble cracked stuff. I wanted the little makeup set, little makeup bag set too, but it sold out really fast at Macy's, so I didn't get it. This is the shade 150, that is what I'm wearing. It has a slight like sickly sweet scent to it, but I'm really enjoying it. That's what it looks like, just one swatch. This has a little bit of a like shine to it. I have been wearing this the past few days and just absolutely loving this one. So that was shade 150, and then that's the nude lingerie, and then the other one is the nude lavalier, and this one's a little bit more pale, has a little less of a presence. It's it's still pretty, but this is definitely one I would want to wear a lip liner with. And this one is just, it doesn't have that shine to it. Uh, the, the little shimmers in it that the other one does. But and these are so heavy. These feel so luxe and just really nice. Um, yeah, I've been obsessed with them the past three days. I think I got it in Wednesday night and I, I stuck one on Wednesday night when I got the box. And then I wore it on Thursday and wore it on Friday. A little bit um, but yeah really like that one and it did come with a gift with purchase too so I have another one this is a candy glaze and this is what shade I don't know if I'll keep this one this one might be a little bright for me I feel like oh this is kind of a red one no I don't have a shade this like this we're gonna swatch this one too oh that came off way that was a mess okay um, not the same quality as the other one. So proceed with caution on that one. Okay, the other thing I purchased with that lip balm duo is from Jo Malone. I have heard so much about this and I was like, nobody has it around me to s smell. Like Macy's doesn't carry it in store. I don't have a Nordstrom. Uh, my Sephora's, I looked in Sephora. I looked on their website. They did not list it as available in store. So I just bit the bullet and uh, ordered 
ginger biscuit because I heard so much about this. It was a little crazy. One thing I will say is I ended up twisting the this thing around so that it would spray away from the bow and not onto the bow because you don't want to soak your little bow. The other thing I would say is this feels very cheap and this elastic is so thick that the lid doesn't sit really firmly on it. I wonder, let me see if I can, I wonder if it would work better if it went around the lid. Yeah, I think that adjustment needs to be made. There we go, we're gonna do it like this. Anyway, this smells very much like ginger snap cookies, but like, you know, if you've had ginger snap cookies, like the store-bought ones, there's the ones that are iced that have like that sugariness to them, and then there's ones that don't have any sugar. This, that's this one. This one is not very sweet at all. It is bakery though, and it does smell like ginger. It's quite nice. I think it's gonna be a great fall and winter holiday type of scent. It's unlike anything I have. Everything else I have is pretty sweet. I do think that it could be unisex because it doesn't have that sweetness to it, but I do like it. I think it's nice. I was not really sure what to think on initial first spray because I was like, wow, that's not exactly what I was expecting, but I, I think it's gonna be enjoyable. I haven't worn it more than like one spray testing it out though, so we'll give it another go. I did get a gift with purchase with that as well. So in here, this little baggie, I got a peony and blush suede body cream, which I'm very excited about. Then I got a wood sage and sea salt body and hand wash. I think that will come in very handy. I do like that scent. And then an English pear and freesia cologne. That um, is not necessarily my favorite Jo Malone scent, but I will, I will take a, a small fragrance because those two things are expensive. And I also got two packs of things. And I was very shocked that they were, they were like, choose one of these and then choose one of these. And I was like, wow. So the first set I got is all Joe Malone. Um, and you have uh, five fragrances in here. And it has like a little card from them. So I have a Le Beau by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Le Mel Elixir by Jean-Paul Gaultier. They're all the original Le Mel, Le Mel, Le Mel, Mel? Why does it sound weird? Uh, by Jean-Paul Gaultier. And then I have La Belle and La Belle Le Parfum. And um, I'm actually wearing a little bit. Le, Le Belle, La Belle. I all of a sudden can't talk uh, today. That's what I'm wearing. Then we have my second little set of, pa of things. And I have that. So in here we have an Oscar de la Renta. This is just the original, I think it's the original. I do own that as a perfume. We have Marc Jacobs Perfect, which is a great one, I own that. Angel by Mugler, I will pass that along because I don't, we don't agree. That scent and I don't agree. We have a Michael Kors Gorgeous, which is nice. And then we have a Kenzo Flower by Kenzo, which um, I, I have a full size of, so I'll pass that one along too. And then I have a, a Lancome Absolute Cream Soft, or Soft Cream, this is nice. I've tried this before. So skincare, that, that's fine. I will, I will take that too. I have one more box of goodies, which I haven't opened at all yet. And it's because I threw on this order when I saw that it had come available. I don't think I had an additional, any Macy's dollars. I feel like I should have some now. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Anyway, it is Donna, born in Roma, uh, pink. And as, uh, Shaughnessy is calling it now double P and then I saw somewhere where it they had it listed as something else and the and the two P's were no longer listed which probably is a good thing because yeah it's a little crazy this is what it looks like it's um a pink version of the bottle it's not frosted uh like the original pictures kind of made it seem like it was going to be it is very pretty I love the pink cap it is very hard to get off though for some reason. It's very pretty. It, um, I can tell that it is in the 
Born in Roma line. Uh, it is lighter. I feel like this is more in line with Coral Fantasy or Yellow Dream in that it doesn't, it's not as heavy in its feel as the original and the Intense. It's a little bit sweeter as well. I think it's very pretty and I'm excited to wear it. This actually might be my scent this upcoming week for classes. Might be a little sweet for my students, but whatever. I feel like this would be really uplifting and kind of nice. And I feel like it actually might be a good year round perfume, which is sometimes unusual. Okay, let's open this last box if I can get my scissors out. I kind of buried them under perfume samples. Oh wow, uh, so all of these are Jo Malone fragrances. That's pretty awesome. So we have a wood sage and sea salt, and I should share these because I have some of these, but I'm going to use them myself. Peony and blush suede. I do like that scent a lot. English pear and freesia. We have another one of that. Uh, English pear and sweet pea. I don't think I've tried this one, or that's one I'm not familiar with. And then I have a dupe of this one, and I love this. This is nectarine blossom and honey. Oh my gosh, so good. Absolutely love that. All right, moving on to Ulta. I had a 20% off coupon. I also... Um, used $125 in points. So I had my 2000 points. So I got this for a pretty darn good deal. And I'm very happy that I got it for a deal. And I, I, there was more things that I wanted, but I limited myself. First up, I had to get one of the Pat McGrath palettes. This is, uh, which one is this? This is the Bijou Brilliance eyeshadow palette in Sunset Romance. There we go. These were so pretty. I was like, oh my gosh, I just, could not resist getting something eyeshadow. I've been pretty good. Like, there's not a lot of makeup here. I have been cutting back on my makeup purchases. Obviously not my perfume purchases, but a little bit on my makeup, and that's good. So here we go. S looks similar to the palette, the packaging, and it's a boring kind of neutral palette, but looks very pretty. We're gonna swatch all of these since the only other thing I had to swatch was those lip balms. Okay, so I think the first four are good. I, this is my least favorite. That's the one on the bottom. It looks a little bit patchy. I know the colors are distorted, but I was trying to get you to see the textures. That first one is super pretty, and I like the two mattes in there. They're super soft and nice, and I'm excited. Like, I, I hadn't swatched it yet, uh, I just checked to make sure that it wasn't broken because, you know, Alta tends to break things when they send it. I've also seen a lot of people complaining about Alta customer service lately and that it's just not been good and that's really disappointing. I hope they get their act together. The next thing I picked up, I, I did not need these, but they were so darn cute. This is the Berry Mary Lip Balm set from Peach Slices and there's three little bears in here. We got Mango, Cherry, and Green Apple. And I was trying to make the mango stand upright, but he just doesn't want to stay in his package correctly. So they're all individually packaged. You could actually, you know, get these and give them as gifts. It was like $12.99, I think, for the set. So we have green apple, we have cherry, and then we have the little mango, which he's in there all funky. Let's, let's open them. It's very, very light. I don't want to stick my finger in there right now because I'm not ready to use him yet. But that's the little mango one, and it does say peach slices on the back, and that's the pot of lip balm. Yeah, um, I thought they were cute, and I just I couldn't resist the cute. Next up, I picked up two of this set because um, I could order this from the body shop. We used to have a body shop store, and it closed. I don't, must have been a victim of the pandemic. Anyway, um, I know they have more products in this line on their website, but I don't necessarily want to order from the body shop. And yeah, I, I'm more likely to go into a store or, or something that is has easy returns. Anyway, this is the Cherries and Cheer mini, uh, cherry mini set from the body shop. And in here, the little this little thing is actually a body puff, which I thought was quite clever. I probably won't use a body puff that small because I'm just, that's not my jam, but I was 
thought that was cute. And then you have a little body wash or shower gel. And then you also have a body butter. And oh my gosh, does this smell amazing? I, I had to smell it as soon as it came in. So this is cherry, almond, milk, and vanilla. Really, really excited about this. So I have two of these sets. They were 15. And then like I said, I had the 20% off. So I got two sets of them because why, why, why not? I just, they were so cute. So here's the second set. I could give this away to somebody, but I'm going to open it and ruin that so that I don't have that temptation to give it to somebody. That sounds like I'm a terrible person. Um, I kind of am, but also cherries are my favorite thing. So here we go. We got a second set. I should smell. I wonder if the body wash smells as good as the body butter. Oh, I think it's even stronger in the shower gel. I might have to break down and do like a body. I think they had a body spray. I might have to put in an order and get a couple more pieces from that set in full sizes. So good. Last thing that I got is something that technically my mom started a collection of and, and now it's just become an obsession and missing a couple, but you know, maybe eventually I'll find those. It's the Carolina Herrera Good Girl. This is the latest limited edition. This is the Dazzling Garden version. It's very pretty. The packaging is a little damaged inside, which is kind of disappointing because, you know, got it for the the shoe and the packaging itself more so than the actual perfume because I have like six different versions of this perfume. <laughs> They're all the same. Uh, but they did a fantastic job, like the, the heel, the everything on it. So very nice. So that's it for my Sephora sale haul, my Macy's friends and family sale, and my Ulta 20% off coupon. Let me know if you've picked up anything. Let me know what's on your wish list still. Let me know your thoughts on Ulta and Ulta's customer service and lack of coupons. Uh, they've been severely they've been cutting back on those lots and lots lately and it's very disappointing because I you know that's what I would used to live for not live for but you know what I mean anyway I hope you're all having a fantastic day I can't wait to read your comments and I can't wait to talk to you next time as well <laughs> bye